I don't know why, but some people wanted me to make a tribute of my old piece of junk van that I'm scrapping. There was nothing special about it except that it had a diesel in it before. Now it's there. But I'll show you how bad it was and why I decided to stop driving it. Well, the rad cradle's broken off there. Uh, the frame is rusting out and getting holes there and there. Oh man, rust everywhere. The roof is all collapsed and bent in and rusty. Lots of rust around the wheel wells. Big hole there in the rocker panel. Completely shot floor. <laughs> That's for sure. I knew I was going to scrap it soon, so I hadn't cleaned it in over a year. No roof liner. It's just all ripped up and destroyed. Can't believe the seats aren't worn out yet. They're dirty as can, you can ever imagine. Oh man, carpet is so dirty and wrecked. The tailgate is rusted out. There's holes around the license bulbs. All rotted out there. Broken tail light. Wonder why. Piece of shit. Rotted out sliding door. Look in the back. Since I'm scrapping it, I'm just loading my scrap metal in it. But even the floor and the back's got holes through it. And no interior. Everything's busted back here. Yeah, I was actually driving it like this. Can you imagine? A millionaire driving a van like this? Holy crap, I must be cheap. <laughs> Another rotted out rocker panel. Peeling paint everywhere. That's why the roof is so rusty. My god. This is actually in worse shape than most of my farm cars. Yeah, I just couldn't stop driving it until the power steering pump broke off. Roof light that would hit you in the head when you put the brakes on. <laughs> the other rear wheel well is much more rotten. Tires don't have much life left on them. Random cattage everywhere. Well, the amazing thing is the emergency brake still worked fine and it was a whole complete original system and the horn still worked. And it was always a pussy magnet, see? He even gave it a squirt for me. You're going to squirt my go-kart, aren't you, Teddy? Don't you even think about it. Yeah. This plate, where the air conditioning fan would be, all loose and broken and flapping in the wind. Well, one other good thing about it, it didn't have loose steering. Every joint was perfect. Struts were going bad got two new ball joints too. That sucks to waste those. But they don't fit the newer van. Well there is one way to get a foot wash while you were driving anyways. <laughs> it would just come in through the wells, soak up in the carpet and start running to the back. Heater core was 50% plugged but I didn't bother unclogging it because I knew I was going to be getting that van. The sliding door mechanism was really crappy and you had to pull it open slowly or it came off the track because the track was all rusted out. You see all the debris coming out of there. Paint sure is peeling. You're stealing the show. More? Told you it was a pussy magnet. Look how rusted out the seat support base is. The fuel door thing didn't work anymore. The gas tank which is scrapping here now was just starting to leak a tiny bit. Muffler was rotten. That's only one of the spots it had a hole. The rotors and brakes were going bad. Yep, you served me long and you served me well. Good riddance, you piece of shit. Take that. <laughs> Now off to the scrap yard so I can double my money. 200 bucks. <laughs> I only paid 100 bucks for it nine years ago. Sweet. And the final straw of it all, other than the power steering pump being broke off, 
was the radio didn't work anymore, so I had to get rid of it. Oh well, off to a fiery hell, melted down.